always seemed, social media-wise, where you've been very optimistic and upbeat about everything. I'm just curious how that carries over <coughs> to your game and and you know, just your feelings about this camp so far. Uh, well, I just think uh, just my upbringing, like what I've had to go through just to get to this point, and uh, just how I'm still here, like. It's, I mean, it's hard work, man, just coming in day by day and just working hard and taking advantage of my opportunities. And it's finally coming, like, to show, like, the world seeing it. So it feels good. Cliff has said a couple times his biggest thing with you is making sure you, you drill down in the playbook and understand the, the concept of what, what is it? I mean, is that something you you're having issues with, or is it just a learning curve? Or, Kind of, what do you think he's getting at? Uh, I think it's the more I'm out there and playing and just getting accustomed to the offense, um, it just allows me to play faster. Um, K1 makes a check and I don't have to think. I can just see the check and just play. Um, so just me playing faster uh, and just help. That'll help my game overall. I feel like. He's also said that you've got all the confidence in the world and you're not afraid of anything. How much do you use that? Uh, well, as you can see, I'm not a big guy, so um, I just try to use everything that I have. Um, like I said, man, I'm not I'm not a big guy. I'm, I'm really wasn't even supposed to be here. I just, like I said, I just work my tail off every day. I just try to work my tail off, come in, and um, just take advantage of every opportunity that I have. Why do you say you weren't supposed to be here? Uh, I mean, I've been cut five times. I undrafted. Uh, coming out of high school, I didn't have – Big major D1 offers. You know I'm saying I just made the the most of every opportunity that I've had up to this point. Um, so that's why I say that. Where does that where does that drive come from? Uh, I say the drive comes from just. I say when I first got in the league, I wanted to prove everybody wrong. Um, being undrafted, it's like, okay, y'all don't think I'm good enough. But now that I'm here, it's about proving myself. Right now, I'm like, well, I'm here. You know what I'm saying now. Let's prove some. I need to prove to myself that I belong and that, you know what I'm saying, I'm I'm who I say I am. So it's not really about proving to the world anymore that I belong. It's about proving to myself. And I feel like that's changed my game. Is, is Friday night then just a, another step in the process for you? Or was it something you can really serve as further motivation? Yeah, I think it's that's just a, a stepping stool. That's, um, I can just build off of that and use that as momentum. Um, it just felt good to be back out there and um, play against somebody new. Like, I'm not out there playing against my teammates and, you know what I'm saying, going after them every day. So it just felt good to finally get out there again and, and play an actual game. Do you, uh, when you're going through these camp practices and, and making plays there, I mean, are you going to your room at night thinking, okay, I had a, I had a nice day today? Or do you try and not do that? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm my biggest critic, so whether I have a good day out here or a bad day, I'm my biggest critic. So I go home and watch the tape. Um, like I said, I leave, you know what I'm saying, if I had a good day yesterday, then I, that was yesterday. Today is a different day, and I just try to build off day by day, just try to build. What is you know, go ahead. When you get cut five times in four years, I mean, does doubt start to creep in at any point? Most definitely. Um, I mean, if you, if, you went, if you went to a job and – you know what I'm saying you got fired and they kept telling you you weren't good enough. Like you're gonna have some things come into your head. Um, but I think that's when you have a, a strong support system, like my, my family, my parents. Um, I got coaches that have stayed in touch. And then on top of that, like I just work my tail off. So like getting cut, um, you telling me I'm not good enough, I'm just gonna go back to work and just show you the next time that you see me, I'm just gonna show you that you made a mistake. And that's what I've been doing. Greg, you mentioned your upbringing and what you had to go through. Is there anything particular about your about growing up that stands out that you had to get, go through? Uh, I wouldn't say any like personal issues. Um, in college, I had a significant like stomach injury that um, I missed a lot of time for. Um, I punctured my intestine in a game, um, and I ended up playing the whole game with that. Didn't know how serious it was until after the game. Um, so just going through that whole, like, situation, um, it just allowed me to, I don't know, just 
like when you go through things, like you can use that as momentum and just build off of those things. Like it's not the end of the world. And you know what I'm saying? Just stack on those, just stack days, stack days, stack days, and eventually your breakthrough will come. Your day to day now, how's the knee feel and how, especially in your in your position, how tough is it not to be out there? Practice? Yeah, I feel great. Um, I'll, I'll be practicing tomorrow. Um, like I said, I've been going hard this whole camp. So um, on top of the game, I was just a little nicked up, um, which comes with the game. Um, but I'll be back out practicing tomorrow. Look was talking about how happy he was to see Kyler and Marquise get their stuff going together. Um, could you tell us how, how they look from your opinion? Yeah, they're, uh, they're like best friends. Uh, I know they play college ball together. Um, they just have a chemistry that, like, you just can't really coach. Like, it just comes from them hanging out. I don't know they probably play the game together. Um, it's just fun. Like, this is a grown man game, but, like, they're just kids out there just having fun with each other. Just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just fun to watch them click like that. Do you always have the headband? Around right, my neck? Yeah. I, I try to do a little something different, something that makes me feel comfortable. Um, last year, I, I used to wear a turtleneck. Um, but this year, I won't go with the headband. So, it'd be my own look. No, I didn't practice today. But I, uh, I, had, I had a lift and um, I did some treatment things. So, yeah. Like I said, it just makes me feel comfortable. Like, if you look at your, your journey and your story, and what you've been through, what you've overcome, do you feel like you could be a, a motivation for other people that say, hey, look, you know, this guy got through it. I, I, I can make it too. Absolutely. Uh, this is bigger than me. Like, I'm not, like, football is just football. But I want to be able to teach people that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can use football as real life. Like sometimes things might not go your way, but you, you know what I'm saying? You got to wake up tomorrow and you got to, you know what I'm saying, go after it again. And that's just how life is. Um, so, yeah, people can look at my testimony and just, you know what I'm saying, just use that um, every, in their everyday lives. You mentioned going hard at camp throughout this offseason in camp. How, how did you feel about things going forward, especially last year coming in when camp had started? Mm -hmm. and had to make a pretty quick impression. Yeah, so last year was crazy. I was actually, uh, I was about to go to Canada. A day before I was about to go to Canada to play Canadian football, um, I got a car from the Cardinals um, for a tryout. So um, I came and tried out. And then, uh, last year I was supposed to be a camp body. Came in here um, not really knowing the playbook, learned it in a couple of days, and just um, was just trying to make the team. and. I impressed the coaches. Um, Sean Jay, my position coach, he was my coach my rookie year with the Jets. So um, he kind of made me feel comfortable. Um, but yeah, last year was everything happened so fast. And then um, I was put on the P squad. Uh, so that was that was good because I was about to go play Canadian. And now I'm on the P squad in the NFL. So um, just trying to stay positive in that aspect. Um, and then just being able to build off last year. And now I had a whole OTA off season with the playbook and now training camp. So I'm getting more comfortable and more comfortable. And I feel like Friday, um, you could kind of see that. Yeah, Sean told us that, Sean told us earlier in camp, mentioned when he was with the Jets and he watched your tape and he went down and, and scouted you and he was just, and all this guy does is make plays. Is that, is that pretty much what you always done? Yeah, so me and Sean Jay, man, that's, he's like a father figure, like, not even like take away football, like he's really there like for us. Like he really cares about us as men. Um, he was the only coach that came to Wake Forest and worked me out. So like me and his relationship, it goes a long way. Um, so for him to believe in me and uh, want to give me another workout with the Cardinals, um, it meant a lot. So you know, I just want to be able to prove, like I said, I want to be able to prove myself right, but also prove him right. Like he, he believed in me and told the coaches that you know what I'm saying? I make plays and I would be a good fit. So being able to prove him right, um, that means a lot to me. Those five times you were cut, was it, did anybody tell you, we don't think you can play in this league? Or was it, we think you can, just it's not working out here, keep trying? I feel like, I mean, like that, that just goes unspoken. Like if I cut you, like that's me telling you you're not good enough. Like, so um, I don't know, man. I, I just, you got to take stuff like that personal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love this game of football. Like, I've worked my whole life to get here. And to be cut five times, three times my rookie year, um, like, I started looking for a regular job. Like, it was, like, that serious. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Um, just to be here again, like I, I won't take this for granted. Like it means it means everything to me. Sean mentioned that that workout was really tough. You tried to put you through the ringer. Do you remember? Like, was it really one of the toughest ones you've been through? Uh, you talking about coming out of college? Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was hard because it was just me and him. So like, just the the build up between this being what I want to do. Like, this is my dream, and I got an NFL coach coming in. It's just one on one, like me and him. Um, my anxiety was through the roof. I was, you know, of course you get a little more tired faster just because of the whole situation. But um, I think I did pretty well.